to my channel of Only Every Day and I'll have a nice day. If you're following me right now, I'm actually doing the anxiety series right now based on what I did previously of the PTSD. Now this next series of the <coughs> series that I'm doing is social anxiety series. So if you've been following me, my name is Esby Ansalor and I'm all about creating mental health and awareness and whatever else in this day and age. So no further ado though, basically, if you follow me from the very beginning, basically for this mental health series of the social anxiety, I did the first one based on what is social anxiety, the definition and maybe some clinical, you know, diagnosis or shall we say some signs or examples of what was available to us. So no further ado now, I'm going to elaborate right now onto part two, which is social anxiety versus shyness. There has been so many misunderstandings to what shyness and social awkwardness and social anxiety is all about, however. But I'm here today to actually help you feel all to differentiate these two different meanings and hopefully to educate you all from my understanding of it. There are so many differences between these two terms, however. Shyness is how I would define it as like someone, some form of emotion, you know, it's the tendency to feel awkward worried or tense during some sort of social interaction or encountership with new people and new surroundings. Unlike with the introverts, however, people that are shy usually often want to connect with people but they don't know how or can't even if they tolerate the anxiety that does come with human contact. People that are severely Shy will show physical symptoms, however, such as sweating, blushing, pounding of the heart, upset stomach, negative feelings about themselves, withdrawing themselves from social interactions with others, whereas, you know, social anxiety is similar to this. But then again, however, social anxiety, on the other hand, it's not as pretty as the physical symptoms here are that you're hyperventilating, you're stunning, you've got the heavy breathing setting due to the lack of oxygen going through the brain and you're you know, blood and everywhere as it goes, the glosses starts to shut up, you know, and it's, you feel like the ears trapped, you know, you want to scream or talk, but nothing is coming out. Feels, it feels like now and again you're choking, however, basically, and the like. And then you have bouts of attacks that comes on versus basically also you feel the need to be left alone. When you're shy, basically, yet maybe reserved type of person, you can go out, get, go out to places that involves the social inter interaction with people, such as parties, restaurants, pubs, discos, clubs, cafes, and more. You may be afraid to talk or maybe able to make an icebreaker, yet you will make the effort to make sure to talk to someone or even when someone approaches you. You may say, for example, hiya, what's up? On the other hand, social anxiety will be like a bit harder to talk to someone, but even if someone approaches you first and foremost, you wouldn't talk. You feel you want to shut down or freeze, and the thought starts running through your head of maybe for the classic examples are, why is this person talking to me? What ifs and the maybes and so on and so forth. You may feel a bit angry or frustrated about that particular person talking to you as they are invaded your space bubble. Again, that's the difference to shyness to make it clear here. Shyness doesn't get diagnosed, it's not as severe as social anxiety, however. You can get by by being cute, shy, blushing and gushing when you go out to places. You'll be saying and thinking that it's fine and you'll go and overcome this. Like any other mental illness, however, it's all about what and how we think about ourselves. And it's all in the mind. It's all about our everyday choices that we make. On the other hand, with social anxiety, however, this will hinder you in your life. and interrupts your everyday activities like going to work, going to school, getting a promotion, etc. Social anxiety is also called social phobia. Social phobia is used interchangeably with the term social anxiety, however. Social phobia is the fear of things such as you're afraid to talk is a classic example. This isn't a choice. It's not like you've chosen to talk and again like sexual anxiety, you freeze up 
and feel like you're traveling back in time. It's like I choose to freeze up, I choose to be alone, and I don't know what to do anymore. You might go through the mutisms, the dry heaves, etc. But with shyness, on the other hand, you'll be some there will be some subconscious thoughts going through your mind. Examples here, they're looking at me, you know, they want they want to be with you, they want to talk to you, fine by me, you don't have trouble breathing, you're not avoiding anyone and that you're more calm. But with social anxiety it's more severe because of your panic state that starts to come up. Social anxiety, however, does have this physical symptoms as well as for example you're in a restaurant and you want to go to the restaurant you may develop diarrhea vomiting it's not like social awkwardness where I can't talk to someone it's like that when you are shy you don't want to talk to someone and you know you want to go to the bathroom because you can talk to someone and you know or see that in the restaurant there's a cute guy ahead of you you know that it's but that's it but social anxiety on the other hand for example you want to go to the restroom, want to be left alone, you're having trouble breathing, need to calm down and once someone approaches you to check that you're okay, even if their intentions is in the right place, you push them away and tell them to go away. Another classic example to illustrate to you all here is maybe a party scene. With being shy, you feel pumped, nervous and ready to go until you can talk to someone and you arrive at the party. You may feel a little reserved at first and you can you drink a little alcohol or any other beverage that is offered to you and then someone approaches you and starts talking to you and you give it a little nervous laugh giggle and you're like thinking maybe or saying it out loud haha whatever no but on the other hand with social anxiety you'll be thinking to yourself I wouldn't go to this party that I was invited to no way Jose it won't be quiet if someone does try talking to me and that again you'll shut down or shut people off pushing them away when it's clearly not your fault for doing so to them and the words is get away from me you want to scream but sometimes the words won't come out there's the huge significant difference to shyness and social anxiety as I mentioned before shyness you don't get a text and it's not even a diagnosis of something until illness however with social anxiety this is at least to other anxiety disorders as well as depression and other disorders. So that's the end of social anxiety versus shyness. I hope that this now have given you a better understanding and aspect of what social anxiety is all about. Feel free to give me a like for thumbs up for support basically. Also subscribe to my channel for daily weekly vlogs. Feel free to share my videos to family and friends and also basically follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Love what you do, do what you love, love yourself, love one another and I'll see you all again soon.